Hi, in this video I would like to explain how a frameless harp work, a laser harp works. Um, you see here the following components. You see uh, an Arduino board. The Arduino is connected to a R2R uh, digital analog converter which makes uh, an analog signal from the from the Arduino's output. Uh, this little component here is an op-amp which amplifies the signal. The signal is then sent here to this galvanometer amplifier board. Here you see the, the power supply of the galvanometer. And here is the galvanometer. It's a small mirror which can move really, really fast. At this moment I've programmed it to do uh, three steps each second. So I really slowed it down so you can see what's going on. Uh, on this board, on the breadboard here, you can see three LEDs here, right here, which now serve as an indicator that the, the beam interrupt is detected. Um, I've used here a small 50 milliwatt green laser. Um, I salvaged that one from a small stage projector. You can buy these things for $50 on, on eBay or wherever you can find them. Um, as the light sensor, I have used uh, three LDRs. I just cover them because otherwise it thinks it's seeing the reflection of the, of the laser beam. So what it actually does, it detects the reflection from the laser and because the Arduino knows which uh, at which step the galvanometer is, then it can say, okay, that beam was interrupted when I see a reflection. So basically that's all it does. So there is only one beam which is moving up and down. I will switch on the laser. You can see it's moving here on the ceiling. So the sensor doesn't really look at the ceiling, it just looks at the, at the reflection of the, of the beam where it is interrupted. So I will switch off the light. I will put some smoke in the beam so you can see the beam move uh, much more clearly. So what happens if I interrupt the beam at this position, then the Arduino's at, let's say this position 3, then okay, I see a reflection when the beam is at position 3, so I must play note number 3 or 4 or whatever, how many beams you want. And if I stop interrupting it, the Arduino will switch off the note or the signal which will later be translated to a MIDI signal. And I haven't made that part yet, but uh, that's the easy part. So if I now interrupt beam number one, you will see that a different LED will go on. And if I stop interrupting, it will be switched off. So now I take the center beam, and I stop and then it will go off. So basically that is what is going on in a laser harp. The uh, difference here is that the, boom, the beam is moving very slowly here. So I'll just, it's now making uh, one step per second. I'll just make that a uh, hundred times more faster by uh, uploading the, the new code to the Arduino board. Sorry, the camera went a bit out of focus here. Um, so now I have increased the speed by 100, so for the human eye it is like there are three solid beams, um, but the principle is still the same. So if I interrupt beam number one, LED one goes on. If I interrupt uh, beam number two, LED two goes on, and number three. And you see now that it responds much more, much quicker 
to beam interruptions then uh, compared of course to the, the step one to the one step or second uh, you see many artists using white gloves, uh, not because the, the beam is so hot, but uh, because the reflection is simply better. So, there you go. A three string laser harp. Well, I hope that this video can inspire you to make your own laser harp. It's fun. Uh, well, half a year ago I didn't know anything about electronics, so it's not really that complicated. You just need to watch on uh, the internet you can learn a lot and just take your time well thanks for watching